For years, everyone believed Saturn's far side was empty. But James Webb just saw something move in the darkness. Slow, quiet, and strangely deliberate. It wasn't a moon. It wasn't a shadow. It was a shape that appeared for a moment, then vanished completely. No one knows what it was. No one can explain it. So what exactly is hiding behind Saturn? The shock didn't fade. It grew, because as Webb tracked the anomaly slipping behind Saturn's frozen ring shadow, the data refused to stabilize. Spectral lines twisted, thermal readings spiked, then vanished. Something with mass moved against the planet's gravitational field. Inside NASA's control room, voices dropped to whispers. Saturn is supposed to be predictable. Its orbit, its storms, its shadows. Nothing in that region should bend light this way. Nothing should shift the planet's magnetosphere. Nothing should appear, disappear, then return in a different place. Seconds later, astronomers stared at the telemetry like it were a warning, a message written in physics that shouldn't exist, a disturbance powerful enough to challenge orbital mechanics, a contradiction big enough to break the models used to map our solar system. And if this thing is rewriting Saturn's rules, what happens when it reaches ours? The panic inside the control room hadn't faded, because the signal Webb captured behind Saturn wasn't weakening, it was stabilizing, and that terrified every physicist watching the live telemetry. Webb's instruments were never meant to see movement this deep in Saturn's occluded shadow. At nearly one point, four million kilometers from the planet, hidden behind the thick glow of the rings, the region should have been astrophysically silent, cold, empty, lightless. Yet the James Webb Space Telescope kept streaming back the same impossible pattern. No reset, no malfunction, just a growing contradiction. The continuity from the first detection was unmistakable. Webb's NARCAM, observing in the 4.4 to 4.8 micron band, caught the anomaly first. A thermal signature tens of times brighter than the surrounding region, pulsing every 11.3 seconds with unnerving precision. Then, NearSpec confirmed it using high-resolution spectroscopy. Each pulse carried a fingerprint of energy inconsistent with Saturn's natural thermal environment. The expected background temperature of that shadowed region is around 80 Kelvin. Webb was reading spikes hitting 230 Kelvin, a jump of 150 degrees, from a place with no atmospheric circulation and no internal heat source. There are no known processes in planetary physics that can do that, and the timeline only deepened the alarm. The first anomaly appeared during a scheduled sweep of the Saturn system on May 19, 2025, part of a long-term program to map the ring structure and track seasonal methane variations Webb's orbit around the Sun-Earth L2 point keeps it locked at 1.5 million kilometers from Earth in permanent darkness, perfect for thermal stability. The data from that vantage point is normally pristine, but this time something was hiding in the data, something moving. Light curves extracted from the raw frames showed the signal shifting position by 22 kilometers over a nine-hour window. Far too slow for a rock in freefall, far too precise for random noise. When ESA analysts ran the same dataset through independent calibration pipelines in Madrid and Darmstadt, they reached the same frightening conclusion. The signal had mass, it had motion, and it was actively resisting Saturn's gravity. That should be impossible. Every gravitational model of the Saturnian system, its rings, its moons, its halo of dust, depends on passive particles following Keplerian motion. But in Webb's spectral data, the anomaly's trajectory didn't match the curve predicted by Saturn's 34 kilometers per second orbital velocity around the Sun, nor the local pull of the planet's massive gravity well. It was drifting against the gradient, like something pushing back, Astronomers tried to classify it as a moonlet, one of the countless small fragments that often go unnoticed. But moonlets don't heat up, they don't emit in infrared cycles, and they definitely don't generate a coherent spectral line at 3.2 microns, where methane absorbs light. Because methane doesn't exist in the vacuum behind Saturn. The centerpiece of the discovery, the impossible detail everyone kept whispering about, was simple. 
the object was releasing heat in a pattern identical to tidal flexing without any tidal force acting on it. That single contradiction broke half a century of planetary science. If real, it meant there was an internal energy source. Something is generating heat where there should be none, something moving with intention, or at least with a mechanism. And if that mechanism existed, the implications were cosmic. Planetary models rely on predictable heat sources, solar radiation, radioactive decay, and residual formation heat. Magnetic field interactions can cause heating, but only in bodies with conductive interiors and active magnetospheres. Saturn's magnetosphere dissolves far outside the region Webb observed. That means whatever was pulsing behind the planet was functioning outside every known category of planetary behavior. If it could resist gravity, energy distribution equations would need rewriting. If it could maintain heat without friction or tidal flexing, thermodynamics would need a new exception. And if it had a mass large enough to distort infrared wavelengths, then Saturn's gravitational map, previously considered the most stable in the outer solar system, was incomplete. Even the ring scientists grew uneasy. A localized gravitational outlier could destabilize nearby icy debris. A source of heat could disrupt microstructures that depend on cryogenic temperatures. A moving mass could alter orbital paths over time. This wasn't a danger to Earth, but it was something that forced astronomers to expand the boundaries of cosmic evolution, because whatever was hiding behind Saturn wasn't static. As Webb continued its sweep, its fine guidance sensor picked up micro-vibrations in the pointing solution typically caused by sudden brightening in the target region, a secondary anomaly, much fainter, much quicker, a flash lasting only 0.14 seconds. Analysts triple-checked, no cosmic ray hit, no shutter artifact, no calibration error. Something else was there, another spike, another movement, another contradiction, as if the first anomaly wasn't alone. And as the data grew stranger, a new pattern began to emerge, one subtle enough to miss, but consistent enough to terrify the team watching the telemetry scroll across their screens. The readings didn't stabilize, they fractured. Just as NASA tried to model the first anomaly, Webb's detectors caught something else, a second distortion slipping out from Saturn's shadow smaller, colder, but infinitely more dangerous, a flicker of gravity without mass, a signature that should not exist in this universe. Telemetry began contradicting itself. Thermal maps spiked by 11 Kelvin in regions that registered at absolute zero just minutes earlier. Spectral lines split apart, then merged as if the laws holding atoms together were hesitating. And then the movement returned, not behind Saturn, but above its rings. A shift so slight the human eye would miss it yet powerful enough to tug Webb's gravitational models out of alignment by a fraction scientists cannot explain. This wasn't just an object. It was an influence, a force interacting with Saturn's system without being seen, measured, or placed anywhere in three-dimensional space. The first anomaly broke physics. This one ignores it. And if these two distortions are connected, the real story is only beginning. The data feed doesn't calm. If anything, it grows quieter, colder, more deliberate. As if whatever is hiding behind Saturn has learned we are watching. The first anomaly bent the rules, the second tore through them. And now the patterns left in their wake hum like an unfinished equation, one written long before our species learned to look up and ask the sky for meaning. Astronomers replay the signals in silence. Spectral lines twitch, Thermal maps pulse with a rhythm no model can predict. Gravitational threads realign as though responding to something unseen. None of it fits. None of it belongs to the world we thought we understood. Because space is not empty. It is ancient, layered, full of echoes from forces older than the planets that orbit them. And sometimes, when our instruments become sharp enough, the universe allows us to hear one of those echoes bleed through. What Webb found behind Saturn doesn't give us answers. It gives us scale. It reminds us how thin our understanding really is, how quickly our definitions collapse when confronted with something. That should not exist, yet undeniably does. 
So we're left with one question, a quiet one that lingers long after the data stream fades, if the universe is breaking its own rules. What else is waiting out there in the dark? Please subscribe to Astrion for more cosmic documentaries.